foreshadowing an experiment on the incandescent electric type system, many memorandums were drawn up as to a general system that would permit of the subdivision of the light into small units analogous to gas gas and with commercial economy superior to the prevailing gas system. The rough models that in it were to be successful, all the units must be worked in mother class. This necessitated the creation of lamps of very high resistance to diminish the enormous investment in copper necessary if low resistance lamps were to be used. The necessity this necessitated a very fine hair like filament of high uh, resistance material. On October 21st, 1871, numerous experiments resulted in the production of a small unit lamp of comparatively enormous resistance. The filament being under conditions of great stability, after the result, I knew the problem approached the commercial solution. While these map experiments continued, other parts of the devil system was actively experimented upon. The dynamo, as then in vogue, was extremely in inefficient. The laws approaching 50% due to some misunderstanding among electricians which I never comprehended. However, this, these experiments produced a dynamo of which 90% of the energy was useful. Then meetings for measuring the current were used by thousands of customers and, and also a host of accessories like underground conduits, switches, sockets, etc. were necessary to make a complete system of distribution.